Hi, welcome to this uh, computer system. It's uh, already the next version of Arc Linux for February. And I'm responding on a call of a user. It says, what do I need to choose? You have Arc Linux, you have Arc Linux D, you have B, and there's Arch Linux. So this video is trying to make a summary, a synthesis of what Arc Linux does and I'm, uh, well, I'm gonna show it with a virtual box environment and some setups so you see and i hope that will clarify all questions related to arc linux and arch linux first of all there were of course already tutorials so if you go to the channel and you type in here difference then there is here already my attempt to make it clear what the difference is between arch linux and Arco Linux, between Arco Linux and Arco Linux D, but now at this point in time we have also Arco Linux B, and there will be somewhere down here also a list because here it is what is Arco Linux, what is Arch Linux, another trial to give a difference. And of course, let's not forget there are also the websites where we try to show you guys what's the difference. There are additions, what additions, one, two, three three major editions so there are lots of texts and lots of information is available in here you can read 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 right so this video is going to summarize it in one go and also show you everything is set up i have oracle set up i have my latest arc linux when you download maybe i should show that as well so back to here, when you go to articlinux.info, that's the information, that's not the tutorial, no knowledge uh, sharing here. This is just who, who are we? And here you see all the topics we are uh, gonna show you and some blogs and releasing gallery, third party people, the download. If you wanna have Arc Linux and Arc Linux D, you follow this link, then you end up here. You can download one of these two guys or you decide later on to download Arch Linux B. And B, as you can see, has lots more of uh, these desktops, lots of choices here. Arch Linux has XFC Openbox i3 and Arch Linux D has no desktop at all. And then we have here the Arch Linux B link, which is this guy, and I've just, you can sort them and how many downloads there were so i took just the one that is most uh, the, the most um, downloads here is xfc so i've downloaded article links b xfc just to show because i'm not going to show all these 12 desktops they're all similar and last but not least we're also going to talk about arch linux so then the circle is complete we have a learning phases uh, phase one two three four five six so when you go or choose Arc Linux, you can actually sort of apply to some kind of university schooling. You, we take you to different levels and at some point in time, maybe you're that far that you say, I'm gonna do an Arch Linux and Arch Way installation, not the graphical installer that we're using. Okay, so that's the setup, right? Meaning, there is the latest Arc Linux that you download. I have downloaded it. Double click this thing. Control F for a full screen. And you boot up. You burn it to a USB. We have our own USB burner on Arc Linux. Otherwise, you, I think best is at this point in time is Etcher, which seems to work for everybody. But you need to burn it to USB. So an ISO needs to be burned on USB. I've just made a tutorial about VMware. Arch Linux is tweaked and themed and, and will always be nice on a VirtualBox. That's the idea because VirtualBox is open source, doesn't cost you any money. It just works on Windows and Mac and also on Linux, of course. So 
I'm just gonna go quickly through these setups because that's not the point here. There are lots of tutorials that explain what options you can click here. Just want to go through it and then move along and see what you get after an installation. Gonna be correct. And that's it basically. So we have a graphical installation system which is called Calamares and it provides us an easy way to just dump and that's exactly what's going to happen here. To unsquash means to unzip a file system so we're dumping a complete file system on your hard drive or SSD or NVMe or anything like that. So the only thing you now need to do is drink your coffee and wait until everything installs but we're not gonna wait here we're gonna pause the video all right it's installed so the only thing you need to do is restart and uh, grab your usb take it out of the system and then boot up into your grub this is arch linux and arch linux comes from arch merge maybe that's interesting to tell as well since arch merge is well the the name before the change to arch linux and the idea of arch merge was that we merged stuff together openbox xfc i3 they are all in here so this is your standard xfce look but when you're trying to learn Linux, you can log out and say, okay, I know XFCE now. I'm gonna have a look at Openbox. You just switch. And the advantage is all your documents stay there. Everything is available. Let's take another wallpaper. All then, everything is available. There is even a minimal uh, menu. So this is the big menu, including all the stuff you need to learn about Openbox. And there are lots of tutorials on arclinux.com. So we are a distribution where you get tons of information. That's why I called sort like a university. You get lots of knowledge about Linux, Arch Linux and Arco Linux, right? So this information is available. Let's exit again, log out and go to i3 because there's another special kind of desktop and this takes a little bit getting used to but it's a super super uh, window of tiling window manager i should say but if you fall in love with this one maybe you would like another tiling window manager bspwm or awesome or xmonad so that's the advantage of jumping into arco linux we keep developing desktops and i'll tell you why or how easy or that is so we have in this just one ISO Arco Linux that's for us the full ISO that's the one we are working on that's XFC Openbox i3 and we switch we just have fun with it and we switch between um, these desktops but the data everything that's on here is the same the settings that we've tweaked icons that we changed everything stays the same Okay, Super X, we're gonna log out. This is our Light DM manager. Maybe interesting, you hear the, already the word Light DM. Maybe you would like to set it. Shut down. So that's the big, what we call the big ISO, the full ISO. That's Arco Linux, XFC Openbox i3. Then people were talking to us. Well, actually development was done. Uh, you can always keep developing, but the idea was done. XFC Openbox i3 combine. Then people said, Eric, can't you make something that is less software? So that's that not so bloated that we have just a minimal installation. So, okay. Having something minimal is easy. If you have a full ISO, delete XFCE, delete Openbox, delete i3. No desktops available, no Firefox, no Google Chrome. Making something smaller is easier. The only thing you have to do is put a hashtag in front of a certain file and it will not be installed the package. And that's it. Run, build it. And we created an Arch Linux D. 
and the D stands for desktop. You decide the desktop and that's the point, but it's for people who are already a little bit more secure in Linux because you end up in a black screen like Arch Linux. That's for later in the video. You end up in a black screen and then it's up to you. You need to git clone the codes, the scripts, run the scripts, decide to change the scripts, um, not run the scripts, etc. etc. So the Arch Linux D installer is very minimal. There's no, no menu, nothing available. That's not the idea. There is this is just passing through. We're passing through and installing a minimal Arch Linux version. Okay, so let's just click everything quickly. Like I said, I go in so many videos in the details of the installation, what you can change here, not the points here. So D in this case, and go. And let's wait again for the installation. So here the installation is quicker, obviously, since we said to the system, let's take an Arch Linux ISO. No XFC, no OpenBox, no i3, just this thing, this minimal environment to keep us, uh, to make it possible to install. That's it. There is no menu, there is no wallpaper, there is nothing provided. Uh, for extras, it's just the bare minimum necessity to have an Arch Linux working. And then it's up to you to get the scripts. Let's pause here again. All right, that's installed as well. Restart, done. It uh, can happen that in VirtualBox, all depending on my versions of Arch Linux and kernels and watchdogs and things like that, that you need to do control F full screen and say to the system, close down. So power of the machine. And it gives us the added value to get rid of this thing here. So the ISO. So we boot immediately on uh, the grub. This is grub. And this is Arch Linux D. Of course, it boots quickly. <laughs> There's nothing in there. There's no desktop. This is it. This is Arch Linux D. So the graphical installation is there, but what you end up in a system that's very similar to Arch Linux, but you skipped already phase one of the installation of Arch Linux. So installing a um, desktop is done, for instance, like this. I'm not gonna do a complete installation with git clone. That's explained in lots of videos, but just uh, to show you how easy and how fast this is, it only takes a few minutes. sudo pacman minus s xfc4. If we install that, then we're installing lots of packages, but we have already a desktop. XFC4 is the name for a desktop. Not installing the goodies just to win some time. So XFC4 goodies is another thing we need to install with it, but not gonna do that just to save some time. Gonna be nice enough to show you. We need Lightm to log in and then we have our own stuff. So it's called, our own stuff is always called Arch Linux something. And if there's a lot of something, all these things can be installed, right? So Lightm greeter is something we need. And there's also Lightm greeter settings. So if a complete. And then sudo system ctl, ctl, right, enable uh, Lightm dot service and wait for that so the reboot with now a complete system a desktop called xfce and a nice light dm without wallpaper since i've not installed the arch linux wallpapers that's gonna be looking a bit strange for us but hey 
it's just a sh to show you guys this is your welcoming thing hi welcome display manager login manager who are you americ and your login and then you get this standard xfce stuff thing this is what xfce looks like out of the box what we just saw earlier arc linux iso was also xfce but i think a little bit themed and tweaked but this is all up to you so we have a full iso where everything is is tweaked and we have this where you can tweak everything yourself you're gonna learn a lot if you do that okay shut down so that's arc linux d you need to install stuff on it you need to learn and and etc et then we have the Arch Linux B. What happens? Arch Linux D is, is all nice, but you need to install lots of scripts and installing scripts takes just time. One moment. All right, let's continue. So Arch Linux B is created out of the idea. We can build an Arch Linux ISO. We can build an Arch Linux D ISO. Why not give people the power to build their own ISO and then they uh, decide I want to have one browser, two browsers, three browsers. I want to have LibreOffice on it. Any decision you make, you put, you decide what goes on the ISO. You build it yourself on your machine. And that's Erkelix B. That's responding again on users telling we want to have more flexibility we want to be able to install the packages and the, the software we want because no distribution will ever be 100 percent ideal for everybody ever that's not possible but if we give you the article Linux b xfce way then maybe we should give you should, should check here article b if we go to arclinuxb.com, we give you the power with all the tutorials. Build Arclinux ISO yourself. Build Arclinux D ISO yourself. Build Arclinux B ISO yourself. Any of these desktops, 12. And then later on, we just uh, wanted to give you also a minimal one. This is three um, browsers, for instance, and this is just one browser, one video, one music, etc. So it's all. The power is just for you guys. This is the vision, check it out. You do a full installation, you do a minimal installation, but you build the, your own ISO. You decide what goes on there. And as a result, the things you build that way, well, you can find those guys, let's move back here. Uh, you can find these guys here. We have to build them anyway, so why not upload them, right? So these guys have been uploaded. So either you say, I'm gonna build it myself, edit a file say yes i want to have uh, that browser or i want to have that text editor etc you build it yourself or you just say okay the selection of eric is good enough for me well i'm not just eric uh, the guys we're five a team of five and we develop our clinics so we have xfce and xfce minimal and you see in the gigabytes how much that costs around six, 600 uh, megabytes is what we more or less have so it is here that we can uh, download everything and you decide what kind of desktop you want if it's going to be minimal or not and this one is a full and let's open it up here it's the same procedure the arc linux b isos are developed upon arc linux iso the only difference between arc linux and Arch Linux B, Arch Linux has XFC Openbox i3, and this example just has XFCE, or just has Xmonad, or just has another kind of desktop. So basically, that's why we can develop so fast. We grab the Arch Linux ISO and decide to get rid of XFC Openbox i3 and add Xmonad on it, and that's how it uh, goes. So in this case, we have a menu, a full menu. Why? Because it's XFCE. If we are going to install something else, then it's we, we won't see these, these menus, these icons, these, these uh, choices here. This won't be there, the whisker menu, because 
it's not intended to have an XFC afterwards. You get Xmonad, which doesn't have a panel, which doesn't have a whisker menu, etc. So it's a delivery system we use. So if you are installing Cinnamon, for instance, you won't see Cinnamon when you boot up. You will see this thing, which is a XFC minimal delivery system that will install your desktop. And that's why we can develop so fast because it's similar than the Arch Linux ISO. We don't need to figure out what's going to happen uh, with Cinnamon when we boot up live, etc., etc. So it's basically a Cinnamon and uh, XFC delivery system. These days I call the full ISO a plus and, and minus is the minimal. But <laughs> you see plus is not allowed. So Arch Linux B and we're installing XFC. Same approach. If you've installed one of them, you've installed all of them. It's the same setup every time. It's graphical. It's going to be um, easy to install. In Arch Linux, you're going to get into XFCE. In Arch Linux D, you're in this black screen. And here you end up in a desktop environment. It can be Plasma. It can be one of 12 desktops. Let's wait for this to stop. After this graphical installation of Calamares, we just reboot again. And this time it reboots automatically. We boot existing and we take the grub first line. What we'll get is XFC, of course. Don't show that. Alt N immediately. Alt N. Another wallpaper. And we get XFCE. That's what you wanted. That's what's installed. If you log out, this is Arclinux B, XFCE. Well, you have XFCE. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. And all the applications you need are there. And it's all going to work. Alt M is going to work. And you have your customize your desktop up here. And you're off. You can work and upgrade like any other Arch Linux ISO. And it's called B, Arch Linux B ISO, XFC. So shutting down here as well. Shut down. Next thing to explain. Just pointing you one last time to the Arch Linux B website. There are lots of, um, if you want to make choices, because these, this user says, what do I need to choose, right? So a gallery might help to decide what you choose. And another thing that might help is maybe tutorials. If you say, look, I'm interested in a system that has lots of tutorials. Well, you can check out here phase two. Phase two is XFC or Box and i3. So that's the desktops from the full ISO. Arch Linux. And if you want to, well, uh, explore other desktops, then you have here this awesome BSP, WM, etc. And in phase four, we're actually going to build our own ISO that's moved to this website. It's just about building. That's hence eh, arclinuxb.com. Okay. And at some point in time, you go to phase five, where you say, I would like to learn all about building a desktop a computer system an operating system just with Arch Linux. And that's here. You go to archlinux.org and you can download here from here, this button download. You can have some torrents here and you can also have a lots of FTP or I don't know, this is an HTTP website. So you can download the ISO from there. And then do your thing. So last thing, phase five of this, I think, yeah, is let's get cracking with Arch Linux itself. So Arch Linux, I don't think I've mentioned that in the video, but Arch Linux is based on Arch Linux, which is, of course, for me, uh, common sense. But for everybody else who is new to Arch Linux, they don't know that, I suppose. So 
Arch Linux, or I believe there is an, 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 a nice little comment in here somewhere. You can always switch in here, which is interesting to know. There is a nice overview somewhere in editions, just showing you that's in the video. So all that's red, all that's red. That's all Arch Linux. And we are a small minute part. Arco is blue and AOR is blue. So basically we are 95% Arch Linux and the rest is a little bit from AOR and a little bit from Arco Linux, our configuration, our themes, our look, etc., etc., conkeys, etc. So basically, Arch Linux and Arch Linux are that not that far apart. If you have Arch Linux and you, I still have to mount it, I see, Arch Linux ISO, and you start it up, go to this screen, my friend, then you get this look, right? Control F and you boot up. But I'm afraid after the boot, there it ends because then it's up to you to follow wikis, to follow tutorials from other people or to follow our own tutorial. I'll just put it on the screen here. So if you want to go, you have a new computer, an old computer or just on VirtualBox, why not? Try to install it on VirtualBox first. And you have phase one, a BIOS installation. Just read older computers. Phase one, UFI, newer computers. Go to phase, go to phase two and three. And at some point, so if you've done that one, you go and choose a desktop and you install any of the 12 desktops. Of course, it's the same thing. It's again, the 12 desktops from here because Arch Linux, Arch Linux, you've seen the percentages it's not that different. It is Arch Linux with some, what we call sometimes spices, some extra theming, etc. So I can't show you anything more than this because this is a, well, 15 to 30 minutes tutorial how to get to XFCE, but this is what you get an Arch Linux. That's the Archway installation. Okay, I hope that um, was helpful. I can only ask you to surf and to read all the information that we have available here. There's lots of more explanations and as well here, and this video will come as well on uh, this channel. And we have, we'll call it difference. What's the difference between Arch Linux, Arch Linux D, Arch Linux B and Arch Linux, right? So you get an overview and then you can make a decision. What will I install? Will I install Arch Linux, Arch Linux D, how far am I with my knowledge in Linux? What can I do today? And you'll see that in a few months, years time for now, you'll be able to install everything and be in control of your system because that's what basically what we like to do to empower you. Anything that, you, that, that the system or the internet throws at you and you have an issue that you can solve it. And we're always there to help. They're also there on Discord, on the forum. Everything is available. Just click in here and you have here the forum as well. And if you want to follow us and, and uh, talk to us, we can talk. Uh, you can talk to us on uh, Discord. And if you follow this link, additions all the way down or just do a Control find Discord. So this is the link to join us on this little application where you can talk to each other and send images and send links, etc. So that's where we converse. All right, it's up to you to choose now what Arch Linux version you'd like. And there are at this point in time, 26 ISOs to choose from. Enjoy. <laughs>